kindly respond uh, to whatever I ask as an exercise which we may be doing and then uh, you know we can the session be available afterwards on any website. This is a two hours demo session. We are recording the session and for the people who want this recording, we will be happy to share with you. That is precisely the reason why we have collected your email ID so that it can be sent as a link. Hope that answers Jagruti Raha. As I said, we will wait for three more minutes for others to join and then we are good to go. So meanwhile, uh, anyone has some basic questions, can put it. Like Pallavi ji is asking, what can we expect from this session? Uh, would like to ask you back, ma'am, have you ever heard about this word called law of attraction? Yes, there is a book by name Secret. Rhonda Baine is the author. You can search it in Google, you will get the book. Great Palmi Garo. You have seen the movie, good. So, Ganchu, sir, you have you want to ask anything or can I mute you, please? Oh, yeah. Please go on mute, sir. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good evening. Once again to all of you, welcome to the session on Law of Attraction. Uh, we are going to start the presentation. So let me begin with the presentation. I would request uh, all of you to pay attention and uh, only with regards to your questions, you can make a note. Otherwise, to all the people who have provided the email ID, I will be sharing this PowerPoint presentation with you. We will also share the recording with you. So instead of focusing on writing, uh, you can always focus on the listening part, which may help all of us, right? So with that, let me begin. So we call this program uh, in a different name, with a different name, which is called Set Your Magnet. Can anybody confirm to me in the chat box, am I audible, whether my voice is clear? Thank yes. you. Yeah, thank you so much for that. Thank you for the confirmation. So we call this program as Set Your Magnet, right? Why do we say so is that our mind is like a magnet, okay? And uh, the basic property of a magnet is to attract and to repel, okay? So much, most of the time it only attracts. 
so when your mind is like a magnet whatever goes in your mind okay the thoughts you will be attracting them into your life now it's up to us what do we entertain in our mind uh, whether it is a positive thought or a negative thought and accordingly the life moves on in the lives of people so if the magnet is not set right what will happen when i say magnet is not set right the mind is not set right in the right direction what will happen and if we don't do it what will happen okay that's what we are going to discuss so let's begin about me some of you may know me and most of you may not be knowing me my name is gangadhar kochala kota in short gk from hyderabad i am a certified coach on this subject called law of attraction having done this certification course from golden inspirations which is a training organization based out of delhi i have completed this certification course in the year 2013 i am a first time entrepreneur having total 29 years of experience both in sales and in training industry i am also an akashic records reader uh, what is akashic records reading you can towards if anybody would like to know i will tell you towards the end if anybody wants to know about it i am also an author of two books first book being aspiring goals for the little ones and the second one is on the subject called law of attraction i have trained 5000 plus participants on law of attraction across india and i have certified 100 plus trainers as loa trainers which means the participants who wanted to learn deep law of attraction and how to teach it further to their participants we certify them uh, and then that's how they become law of attraction trainers close to 100 plus trainers i have certified it's a five day program and these are the people who are spreading this wisdom in india and internationally as well i can be reached on my mobile number which is there on your screen 9100322289 both on call normal call or on whatsapp chat or you can write a mail to me on my mail id which is loa coach gk at gmail.com so that's about me so let's begin the presentation the seminar will be close to 2 hours i'll try to be on time but depends upon the number of participants if they have any more questions it may be prolong 10 more minutes max okay but i'll try to wrap it up as early as possible now for those of you who have heard about law of attraction earlier maybe this will be a repetition for you uh, or and more maybe you can learn something today but for those of you who don't know or you are hearing it for the first time okay this definitely uh, is going to be a session that will do a value add to your life so with that <coughs> let's begin with the grace of gurus so what is law of attraction law of attraction works on three fundamentals yeah uh, bala narsimhan sir you are right but i am not able to hear any voice but if anybody is not on mute hari if you can mute all of the participants please check that only uh, i should be speaking so that there is no disturbance to others right okay what is law of attraction law of attraction works on three fundamentals first one thoughts become things second one is what you put your attention and focus on grows stronger in life and the third law is like attracts before we go a little deeper into each law i would like to make a small information would like to give small information to all of you is that during this two hour session i'll be using some words some terminologies like mother nature you know universe higher intelligence all these things you know belong to that one energy which is because of which we are all here so you can refer to that energy you can give any name to it but just to give you an understanding as what these terminologies mean they all mean the same energy because of which we are all there okay so let's learn the first law the first law says thoughts become things 
Okay. Now, if you look at the pictures on the screen, there are different types of pictures. One picture is about a motorbike. One is about a car, an individual house with a swimming pool, and a family which has gone on a picnic. Now, please understand this: that everything is created twice in this universe. I repeat, everything is created twice in this universe. First in your mind and then in reality. Without you creating that thought in your mind, it cannot become a reality. Now, if you connect the same thought to the pictures here, somebody who wanted to design a bike, first it came into his mind or her mind and that's how it become a reality in this shape. shape. Same is in the case of a car, right? You see different models of two wheelers coming, you know, cars coming. Every time there is new, new models that are coming. How do you think they are coming? And each one is unique from the other. So these are the designs which that person thought about that design in my mind and then eventually it became a reality. If you look at the house part also, whenever we buy a new house or construct a new house, we have the entire blueprint in our mind, you know, the constructor, the designer comes and then architect comes and then we say this is how it should be. You know, the swimming pool should be here, all those things and that's exactly the house is built. But first that is created in the mind, how do I build that house? And when it comes to the question of going on a picnic, okay. We do the entire planning in uh, well in advance. It is done in mind. It, it is done in discussion, like which train, what will be your transportation mode, whether it will be train, flight, or by road, okay? Which location you will go, how many days you will be staying, what are the bookings to and fro, you know? And what are the places that you will visit, which particular famous eat joint you will definitely go, all these things. We try, uh, try different uh, dishes in those areas. So everything is planned and you see everything exactly almost happens that way because it is already created in the mind and then it is seen as a reality. So let's do a small exercise. Okay. All of you, I'm sure none of us are driving and listening to this. So wherever you are, all of you just clap once. See, there are exercises which I'll be asking you to do. Be sincere, be, be honest, and very simple exercises I will give it to you. Just quickly keep responding whenever I ask you for any questions in the chat box. So if you have all clapped once. Now, about clapping, when do we clap? We clap when we want to appreciate a person, you know, the positive way. You, you, that, that thought gets triggered. That emotion, that feeling comes, yes, he deserves an appreciation and we keep clapping, okay? Now here in, uh, in this case, when I told you to clap, you know, a thought got triggered in your mind and then it became a reality in the form of a clap. But if I had not told you to clap, if that thought would have not come to you, if that thought would have not triggered you, it would have not become a reality and it would have not have turned into a clap, right? This proves that thoughts become things. Now, the big question is, if that is the case, GK, how soon my thoughts will become things is the next question, right? And here is where the second law comes to our help. The second law says, whatever you put your attention and focus on grows stronger in life. Scientists say, Scientists say there are 60,000 thoughts that travel in human mind like a traffic in opposite direction on the road. 60,000 thoughts. Now, when we learned about the first law, thoughts become things, out of this 60,000 thoughts, which thought will become a reality? And that's where the second law helps us saying that Whatever you put your attention and focus on grows stronger in life. Which is that thought you are going to focus is what you will see it in reality. That's the whole uh, understanding of this law. Now, if you look at the person on the screen, uh, the image, this gentleman is trying to build up his arms. You know, he's doing exercise so that he can build his arms and using certain tools. Now, if he is focusing on building his arms, Will his thighs grow? 
Obviously not. Why? Because he's not focusing on thighs. Right now he's focusing on building his arms. So whatever you put your attention and focus on, grow stronger in life. Let's do a small exercise here. Let's all do a small exercise. Wherever you are right now, just look in, uh, look around your space. If you are seated in your house, in your bedroom or wherever you are, just look around and count five yellow colored items. Count five yellow colored items. You don't have to respond to anything in the chat. Just count and keep it with yourself. You don't have to announce also. You have 30 seconds. You can count five yellow colored items in the room wherever you are and keep it ready with you. Need few responses if you have done. Say yes if you have counted five. If you are ready with five yellow colored items, count it. Just say yes. Few confirmation that helps me to move forward. Yeah, Padme sir, thank you. Madhanaji, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's enough. That's enough. Okay, now what you do is be very sincere, be very honest to yourself. Some of the exercises you may feel are very childish, it's okay. Let's uh, very sincerely participate and do the exercises because here you are going to learn something wonderful. That much assurance I can give. Okay, now having counted these five yellow color items, <coughs> sit in a comfortable position and close your eyes. Don't even slightly open, just close your eyes as if you're sleeping. Don't go to sleep by the way, but then just close your eyes. And now, I believe all of you have closed your eyes. Now, recollect with your closed eyes, recollect five red colored items in the same room. Don't open your eyes, don't open your eyes. Just keep your eyes closed and try to recollect five red colored items in the same room. You have 30 seconds. With your eyes closed, try to recollect five red colored things or items in the room. Okay, 10 more seconds. If any one of you have or could recollect five red color items, open your eyes and just type the number in the chat box. <coughs> I'll wait for a few responses. <coughs> Sorry. Malavis Madam says three. Type the number. I don't want yes or no. I don't want, I don't want the item name also. Just type number. Four, three, two, one, whatever it is. Yeah. Mona LCG says three, Sudanshu sir, three, Vikram Krije sir, one, good, good to go, good to go. Others now follow uh, what happened and what would the explanation for this exercise. Now, when I ask you to look around in your room or space, wherever you are seated for five yellow color items, all of you could locate five yellow colored items. It could be a sari, you know, it can be a bed sheet, it could be anything, but five yellow colored thing items. Now, when I asked you to close the eyes, you did not expect me that I'll change the color. And you were eagerly waiting what will be the next uh, action to be done as an exercise. And I suddenly changed the color and I asked you to recollect with your eyes closed five red colored items, right? Which you did not expect. And once the exercise was done, you have typed the number of items. Some says three, some says one. Now what you will do is, for all the people who could not recollect five, whose number is only one, two or three, just look around and see whether actually five red colored items are there or not in that room. You will see that yes, not five, there are more than five. But why is that you could not recollect? It is because it's very simple. You were focusing on yellow colored items. Does it mean that red color items were not there? They are very much there. Your focus was not there on that. 
So this is exactly what happens in our life as well. We are focusing on things and we are only able to see those things. Everything is available in abundance, but I am not able to focus on that. Hence, I feel there is scarcity in life on any aspect of life. So whatever you put your attention and focus on grows stronger in life. That is the second law. And then we move further to learn the third law. See, understanding these three laws is important because these are the basics based upon which when we go ahead, we can refer these laws and understand the future slides, right? That's how it's important it is. So let's move to the third law. I want few responses to my question. When I say, when I ask you, what is that your mind is interpreting or what is that you get into your mind? When you see these images on the screen right now, just type it in the chat box. What comes to your mind when you see these images? We'll wait for a few responses. What comes to your mind when you see these pictures? Balusar says, nature, sand dunes reminds me of sunset. Okay. The experience of seeing minds. Where I want to go to next step, Inshallah, Jagurudiji, you will be visiting by using law of attraction. Good, good, good. Good, thank you. See, thank you for your responses. Let's get uh, back to the slide. When you see all these things, we need to see when we want to understand uh, how law of attraction works or how nature, we need to understand how nature works to understand this law. So if you observe nature is working in a particular fashion, it is working in the form of groups. Will you find coal mines everywhere? I am from Hyderabad. There are no coal mines in Hyderabad. I'm from Hyderabad. There are no sand dunes in Hyderabad. But does it mean that sand dunes are not there in India? Does it mean that coal mines are not there? But they are located in a particular place. What is happening is all the coal related material is being attracted. That's how the nature is working. It is pulling all of them to one location. And that's why these are available in those locations only. Be it coal mines, be it sand dunes. So this is how mother nature is working. It is working in the form of groups. Now let's relate this to our day-to-day -day life. Go back to those days when you were in school. Okay. And uh, in the school, you will see in your class, depending upon the strength of the school and all those things, each classroom would have 25 to 30 or 40 students max. Okay. And if you observe, if you go back, you will observe that on the very first day of you getting into uh, uh, the classroom, you will see that you would have made friends. I don't know where, what kind of a background is coming, noise is coming because I'm not able to hear any background voice. Ramji, I think anybody who is not on mute request you, please go on mute. This is a very precious time for you and me. Let's utilize it. You know, let us utilize it in the right way. Be attentive to the instructions and please follow. Please go on mute. Okay. So coming back to the slide that in the school, you would have formed friends, not with everybody. Okay. You will see uh, of, of friends who are, there are different types of groups. At one group, which is always studying, that's called study group. Three, four friends, they come together. And they are always studying. Okay. There is another group which is a notorious group. They keep doing all kind of, you know, notorious things. And another group which is always shows a lot of interest. They are less in the class, more on the school ground. You know. So, you see, you have formed friends with only few. Uh, while there are twenty-five to forty students, but you have been 
moving around with only few groups. This is in school as well as in college. Come to the corporate world. If you have worked anywhere in a corporate world, you will see that if a floor is having around 100 people, but there will be four or five people only who will be regularly having lunch together, right? They go for bio breaks, they go together. They go for tea break, they go together. You know, why do you think it is happening? You, are, you have attracted like-minded people in your life. Because you are from nature, that how different you will behave. So everything is happening. You are attracting those people. The like-minded people is what you will be attracting into your life. Okay. So this is what we can understand from like attracts like. That is the three fundamentals. Any questions so far apart from this uh, complaint about background noise? Any other complaint? My uh, team colleague, Mr. Hari, is trying his best to mute all the participants technically here, but then I still don't understand when you say there is a background noise, maybe I'll switch off my fan. Hold on one second. Maybe that is disturbing you. That's the best I can do at this point of time. How is it okay? As the noise come down, I switched off my fan. That's the only thing I can do at my end, but otherwise I'm not able to hear any uh, noise. But if this helps, great. Great, thank you. Right, so any questions so far? We have, uh, we have covered the three laws, uh, thoughts become things. We did an uh, exercise by clapping. The second thing we uh, learned is about the focus part, wherein we discussed about the second law that Whatever you put your attention and focus on goes strongly in life. And the third law, like attracts like. In the second law, we did an exercise of the colors. And the third, like attracts like, we took examples of our childhood, college, as well as corporate life. Okay, thank you. Uh, if you have no questions, let's move forward. Like gravity is a law, law of attraction is also a law. It is from quantum physics. I would like to ask a question, which uh, is very simple. You don't have to respond. Is gravity working right now? Is gravity working right now? The answer is yes, it is working, right? It is working all the time, right? If it was not working, we would have all been floating in the air, right? Like law, like law of gravity is working all the time, law of attraction is also working all the time. Because if you are awake and if your mind is functioning, it's obvious that you will get thoughts and the thoughts, whatever you get, is what you're going to attract. That's what we learned in the first law, that thoughts become things, right? So what happens if you align to gravity and if you don't align to gravity, what happens when we do not understand this universal laws, what will happen if I align to universal laws and what will happen if I do not align to the universal laws? For that, I would like all of you to use your imaginary skills, visualization skills, and just imagine that instead of doing this session on law of attraction over a Zoom call, should of Doing it on a Zoom call, imagine that all of you, the participants, are seated in a classroom and I'm standing physically in front of you and delivering this session, right? I'm a trainer on law of attraction, you're all seated here and I'm physically doing the program. Just imagine, visualize that kind of situation. Well, as a trainer, I will be moving towards my left, towards my right, I'm standing erect, my posture is erect, I'm comfortable in delivering my session. This is the first part of it. Now imagine again, if I continue the session by changing my posture, wherein I am either bending towards my left or towards my right in a 90 degree angle to my waist. No? I'm in a 90 degree angle towards either my left or right bended and I'm continuing the session. Law of attraction, three laws, first law, thoughts become things, second law, what you put your attention and focus. Like this, I'm continuing. 
how long do you think in that posture i will be able to deliver my session 3 minutes 5 minutes max not more than 10 minutes for sure because why am i not able to do that way because it will pain me in my back and any pain is a suffering so if i have to come out of that suffering what i need to do is i will have to come back to my normal position like what i was earlier standing in a straight position and start delivering the session or continuing the session again gravity is not acting against me i am acting against gravity i repeat gravity is not acting against me i am acting against gravity which is a law so when i go against a law it is going to give me pain i am going to go through suffering how do i come out of this suffering when i come back to my normal position and align myself to gravity so the same thing happens if we do not align to the universal law one of the law which is law of attraction we are going to go through pain and it's a suffering so for me to not to go through that kind of a pain or suffering in my life understanding these laws how they work and how do i align to them and use them in my favor is the whole science about it that's how we can be aligning to laws only if we come to know but unfortunately these laws are not taught in the academics in the school or the college or in the corporates as well not many people know about these laws and hence they keep complaining they keep judging they keep wondering why it is happening why my life is like this and all those things deep within out of ignorance they do not know that they are not aligning to the laws of nature so that's what we can talk and understand about law of attraction as far as law as a law it is concerned like gravity is a law law of attraction is also a law right now we are come to the important slide right now whatever we want to attract is there a process is an obvious question okay and here on your slide right now is this four manifestation step process which we call it as okay see for those of you who have the habit of having coffee tea you now to prepare a coffee or a tea there is a process involved you need to lit a stove put a utensil on that pour water you don't put sugar first right you pour water or milk and then add uh, tea powder or coffee powder whatever is the way the process there is a process right you filter it and then you serve it to us if for making a small thing like a coffee or a tea if there is a process involved imagine what should be a process for life if you have to lead the way we want to lead it happily there must be a process and here is the process which we are talking in the realm of law of attraction okay the four steps let's discuss with the first step which is called ask ask is nothing but releasing a thought consciously in your life that's asking the universe that this is what i am expecting now let's go a little deeper into this are we asking properly is my ask or is my way of thinking of releasing the thought is right or not let's take an example of money which is the most sensitive subject in everyone's life so when anybody wants to attract money you know what kind of a statement uh, uh, would be going in their mind as a thought i want money i need money correct so these are the kind of thoughts that would come into minds now here is the surprising element which is our way of asking itself is wrong what do i mean by that when i say i want money now when do you or when will you want anything in your life something which you don't have correct when you don't have anything only you will want for it so what are you doing is with this thought when you say i want money you are standing on a platform of lack l a c k you are standing on a platform of lack 
and then releasing this thought, I want money, which is a lack statement. The third law, like attracts like, is working. Because remember, we discussed like gravity is working all the time, law of attraction is also working all the time, and you are going to attract more and more lack of money in your life. Right? So, what is the solution? The solution is when you say, I want money, what you need to do henceforth is that remove the word want from that statement and then say, I am receiving money. That's the statement. This is how your thought should be released. I am receiving money. But then, now there is a next question. Will the money come? You may ask me, will the money come like this? It is, is it that easy to get money? Where I just state, uh, change my statement that I am receiving money? When we discuss about money, we will discuss at that point of time. But right now, we are trying to correct our very thought process itself. Okay, and money is being taken as example. It can be anything, right? Now, when I say I'm receiving money, the next question is, how much, right? By when, right? And why do you want this money? You need to be clear in all these three things. And the most important aspect is, you have to be specific about your ask in your asking rather as much as possible. You need to be very specific. And I'll give you an example for this. Now, if we reframe the sentence wherein I'm saying, I am receiving rupees, two lakhs. Listen to the statement very carefully and let me know whether it is specific or not. You can, you can modify it better later. But right now, for us, our understanding, I am receiving rupees 2 lakhs in my Andhra bank account by June 30th, 2020, right? By 11.30, I'm being specific about my bank in Karkhana branch, whichever is the branch that belongs to you. And I'm going to use this money to give it as a down payment for a new model of car which I want to buy. Now you'll have to be very specific about your model of car, color of car, that and all is a part of this being specific process. So basically what I'm trying to tell the universe is that I am very clear boss what I want. I'm very clear. So this is the process. The other important aspect is that if you observe many people, their ask or releasing their thought, you know, whatever they want in their life is done almost most of the times when they are in frustration state of mind because you don't have it you're frustrated obviously and then in that frustration frame of mind your emotion which is so strong that you lack it you're releasing it what is going to happen third law is working second law is working because you're putting focus on your lack and the thought is becoming a reality so you're going to attract more and more lack of it so what is the solution? The solution is, to give you an example, we are in the month of May, and May month, summer month, is known for fruits, especially the king of fruit, mango. All right? Now imagine that if you have already tasted, fine, but if you have not tasted, when you buy mangoes and you have that first bite of that mango, you know, the sweet mango, Look at the way your entire body responds because of your taste buds. You know, it's an amazing feeling. Wow, what the sweet, yummy mango and all those things. Now you are in a happy state. The entire body is, you know, in, in vibrating with the positive energy. This is the time you have to release the thought. Point here is not to eat mango every time to release the thought. That's no, that's not the idea. The idea is that you should be in a happy state of mind. Mango was just given as an example. So in a day, whenever you go through a happy situation, that's the time you have to release your thought. Like there is a season for fruits, you need to have a season of happiness in your life on a day-to-day -day basis. Whenever, throughout the 24 hours, even if you are there for one minute happy because of some sensory organs, some sensation, some happiness, that's the time you should be releasing your thought. Okay? 
So in ask, we have understood that instead of using the word want, I have to remove the word want and I have to use the word receiving. I have to be very specific in my ask because if you are not specific, ask is directly proportional to your receive, which is the fourth step. So if anything is going wrong at the ask level, obviously at the receive level, you will not see the results. And you have to be in the season of happiness, right? These are the important things which you need to keep in your mind. Now the big question next time is this. Is it possible? Will it come? That's a doubt now. That's a doubt now. See, we all have doubts in life. It's common. But what is not common and what is not should not be common is that I have doubts, but I cannot doubt my own doubts. That's a big problem, actually. Okay? We have doubts. And then you say, okay, let it happen. I'll try this time. I have listened to him. I will try. And if it happens, I'll start believing in law of attraction. No, it's actually the other way around. You need to believe and then it will happen. Now, the big question is, everyone in your life might have told you this, whenever you have been down, whenever you are depressed, or whenever you are not in a good frame of mind, whenever things were not happening the way you wanted them to happen. And when you started sharing this with some people or if somebody has observed you, that you are not in good frame of mind, they'll ask you what has happened and then you tell the story and then they say, believe in yourself. All these motivational speakers also, they'll keep on telling you, believe in yourself. Believe, they'll shout and tell you, you are hearing it, but what is the process of believing? How do I know that I have actually started believing? Okay, so there is, you need to understand the process of getting into belief. Let's talk about again money now. Okay. Let's say that one of your friends, okay, uh, is going through tough times. And during this pandemic situation, he lost his wife. And you are doing well in your life about money. So as a friend, he thought that he will seek your help and return back the money and all those things. But then he calls you and says, Can you lend me 10,000 rupees? Okay. And then you, uh, being the good person you are, you said, yes, come, uh, let's take it. I'm talking about the time when the GPA, Paytm and all were not there. No, no, get into this technicality. Why he has to come to my house and all. Just saying at the time when these things were not there. But even if now also uh, you ask him to come, uh, he, he comes to your house. And uh, in the ethos of India, we have that this Atiti Devo Bhava, when a guest come to our house, even if he's a friend, we first offer him a glass of water, right? And that gentleman drinks that glass of water. The glass is over now and you ask him, do you want some more? And the guy says, yes. Maybe he's so thirsty, so he had the second glass of water also. Seeing him thirsty, you offer him the third time. Do you want more? But this guy is thinking, have I come here to drink water? Internally, but then says, no, no, thank you. Because his entire focus is, is tensed. He needs that 10,000 very badly now. And now he is looking whether you will put your hands into the pockets or will you go inside, open your cover and get the money. His entire focus is on that only because of his need. So some, after some time, you bring the money and give it to him. Right? He act, happily accepts it. Okay? And then he leaves with the money. I want few responses for the question that I'm going to ask all of you. In the case of water, without that gentleman asking you for the second glass of water, you came forward and said, do you want some more water? You asked him the third time also, do you want some more water? But when it came to the question of money, when you gave him 10,000 rupees, did you ask him, do you want more? I'm just asking a general question. Do we ask him, do you want more generally? I want few responses in the chat box. This is not going to judge anyone, huh? please. Let's be truthful to about ourselves. This is not to form any opinion about anybody here. This is the general thinking okay, of human mind. Okay? To ask is courtesy, but do we ask is the question. Yeah, yeah. most of the answer rarely no. Correct. Okay, good. Why don't we ask is the next question. What will be your response? In the case of water, we have asked. In the case of money, we are not asking. Why? 
I'll wait for a few responses. Repaying capacity comes to mind, not easy to give. As he put himself right now in this need, we worry that what will be his future? Yeah, insecurity. Look all the responses. Now, it is very simple. Your belief that water is available in abundance and your belief that money is not available in abundance is the primary reason core deep within this belief has gone very deep into all of us that money is not available in abundance water is available in abundance and you see because water is available in abundance we keep wasting it the way we want to waste it okay we are not careful and about money because our abundant mindset is not there it is lack mindset whatever you call could be the reasons you know, uh, it is about a conditioned thinking process right from the childhood, seeing issues in life about money. And this got deeply embedded into our subconscious. That's the reason why we don't ask. Okay. So if you do not believe, okay, you will not be able to get whatever you are asking. That's the second step of the manifestation process. The third thing is be grateful. Okay. In Bible, it is said that whatever you have right now in your life, if you are not grateful about it, whatever is already there in your life will also be taken away. Which means you need to be grateful for anything and everything in your life. Right now, to express this in front of you, that I am so thankful that all of you have registered and joined this program. Otherwise, I would have not been able to share my wisdom with all of you like this. Okay, thank you so much for all of you joining. Now, this is something which I just, you know, said thank you to you. So, what I'm trying to say is, you need to just look out for the things, be aware and keep thanking for everything. And the first thing which you should be understanding is this, not everybody who slept yesterday night I repeat, not everybody who slept yesterday night got up in the morning today. You and me, if we have got up, we need to be thankful for them. Thank you, my Lord, whatever name you want to uh, put it in the bracket after that. Thank you very much for giving one more day in my life. You still have belief in me that I can do and meet the purpose of life for which you have sent me into this universe. Thank you so much. And before sleeping, count all the things, you know, for the things which have, you have been grateful in your life and then go to sleep. That's it. Right? So be grateful for anything and everything. If somebody in your house, you know, uh, is getting you a glass of water to drink while you sat for eating dinner and you forgot to get it, and then if somebody is giving you, be grateful about it. Thank you so much. You know, this one word, thank you. If you make it as a part of your life, your life will not be the same again. I can guarantee it is going to shape up and change immensely impact you. You will see abundance coming into your life because you're being grateful for everything. So what are you doing? You're saying, to the universe that I am thankful. So obviously, universe will give more. Why would the universe give you something for which you are not grateful? It better give it to somebody else who is being grateful. Correct or not? So that's how it is. So be very grateful for whatever you already have in your life. Okay. There are many examples that I can share at this point of time because of paucity of time I may not be. Let's understand the core concepts of uh, this subject. Okay. And that's how we will move forward. Receive. As I told you earlier, your ask is directly proportional to receive. If you have probably missed out on the process in the ask level, which we discussed about being specific, being happy in releasing your thought, right, and remove the word want, then obviously you will see the results that you want to see 
when it comes to the question of receiving part. Now in the receiving part, what you need to do is that you need to keep your body open. What do I mean by body open is that you have to spread your arms, okay? And how do you receive if somebody gives you? Will your hand palms be turned downwards or upwards? Obviously, upwards only, you know? You'll be receiving them. Your entire body language should give a signal to the universe that you are ready to receive, right? Whenever you go to, if you're a businessman, whenever you go to a client for in a business order, you know, don't fold your hands in sit. Don't put your legs crossed. Okay? Because whatever discussion is happening, it will not get, you know, uh, deep into your mind. Or you will be having difficulty to understand. Some of you might have seen that, you know, you forget something in a conversation with somebody. Why does it happen? Look at your body posture. You are not ready to receive that information. So as much as possible, spread out yourself. Don't keep your folded legs or folded hands. Once you release the thought, just open up, you know, and release your thing and give a signal to the universe, boss, I am ready to receive whatever I asked for. Okay, so that is uh, the four steps manifestation process. Let's move a little further. Now, whatever we discussed till now is at the surface level, right? Basically, to make you the uh, three laws of understanding the manifestation process and what happens when you align to the laws where we discuss the gravity and law of attraction, what happens when you align to the laws of nature and what happens if you do not align to the laws of nature. Now, the next slides that I'm going to share, I'm going to just going to take you through what happens. Basically, this session is to conduct a law of attraction full workshop. Okay, so before I announce the workshop, what are the things that you will get? I would like to, I wanted to take you through some experience of learning this and then take a call whether you should be joining that workshop or not. How, where, when, everything I'll tell you towards that. Right now, let's focus on, am I audible now? Siba Prasad says, nothing is audible. Can anybody give a confirmation whether I'm audible? Yes, thank you. Thank you. Now, in the session, in the, in the workshop, what we will discuss, we'll be discussing about 68 seconds pure thought concept. Okay, we'll do exercise right now about that. So in that 68 seconds, so some of you will uh, get a question in your mind. What is this 68 seconds pure thought? Why 68 seconds? Why not 73? Why not 52? All these things will come. This is a scientifically proven process. 68 seconds has got a scientific reason behind that. Now, what is that scientific reason behind and everything we will discuss towards the, uh, in the workshop, okay? But right now, let's do an exercise for all of us. Okay, there, are, there is a first level, there is a second level. You don't go directly into 68 seconds. Especially for those people, the exercise which I'm going to ask you to do now, it will be difficult for somebody to go directly into it 68 seconds. If you, are, if, if you have a practice of closing your eyes and sitting, then that's great. But normally, many people find it difficult directly to get into a 68 seconds pure thought process. So we will experience it right now. I'll keep the timer. All of you, wherever you are, please be seated in a comfortable position. Let you know uh, your back be straight as if somebody is holding your neck and tied to the ceiling, kind of that straight you have to be. Sit in a comfortable position. Don't fold your legs, don't fold your hands. Keep the hand palms open, facing towards the roof, okay? If you can touch the feet onto the floor, nothing like it, okay? And before you do that, before you close your eyes, please think of one thought that you want to manifest. One thought. It could be related to anything. You don't have to type it in the chat box. That is your personal, okay? Just think about one thought that let's put law of attraction to use now, okay? And see whether it is happening or not, okay? Just put one thought, any thought that you would like to manifest. It could be money, it could be relationship, it could be issue in life, anything. Just put it in your mind. 
I would request people to go on mute even on video also because it will impact the bandwidth. Okay. It will impact the bandwidth. Thank you very much. So just think about a statement or think about a thought that you would like to manifest in your life. And when I say start, okay, you can close your eyes and then think about only that thought which you just thought that you would like to manifest. Think about only that thought. When I say start, okay? And when I say open your eyes, slowly open your eyes. Don't just say open your eyes, okay? When I say your time starts now, you can start thinking about and closing your eyes and thinking about that. Your time starts now. Slowly come out, slowly open your eyes, come out. And now what I want all of you to do is just type it in the chat box. According to you, how much time, how many seconds do you think you could just hold on to that thought? Roughly, was it for 15 seconds or 20, 25, whatever is the number you feel. You, you are not the uh, person actually who is keeping the time, but you can just have a gut feeling. Full time, yes, 30 seconds, 10 seconds, great, 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 thank you, great. Great, now, this is the problem with all of us, many of us, I was also a part of this, that we are not able to hold on to one thought for 68 seconds. Where are we thinking of attracting many things into our life? Our focus is not, we are not able to focus. Mind is like a chatterbox, you know. Even if you are trying the best and hardest way, you are not able to do it. So to start with, for the beginners, those people, as I told you earlier, if they have the experience of doing meditation, they will be able to hold it for a long time. But for the beginners and for some of those who have never tried this, it becomes very difficult. So the power of that 68 second is so huge that, you know, today what I did, well, I did release thoughts of all of you into the universe. Okay. You have released the thought. Let's see what happens in the coming days. Okay. If you continue this, whether you join the course or not, that's a different issue. If you continue, just take this one important thing with you that I will hold on to my thought for 68 seconds, which I want to 
manifest okay uh, manifest in my life just take this as an important and uh, keep a timer try to hold it don't force yourself don't harass yourself and don't get frustrated that i am not able hey, others are able to do it i am not able to do no no don't get into all those things your life is your life their life is their life focus on your life 68 seconds if i can hold on to one thought which i learned today i will i will implement it and i am trying to see whether it is happening in my life or not it's up to you but then follow this instruction close your eyes and, and how many 68 seconds are available in 24 hours you know there is one important thing which we all should know that we all know that doing exercise is good but do we do it no if we do a one hour exercise in 24 hours 23 hours of freedom we have but that one hour we are not able to allocate to us like that 68 seconds in 24 hours is it a big thing to handle definitely not so give breaks 68 seconds now after 15 min more minutes and you can do any time during that. There is no particular Brahma Murta and all those things for you to do this kind of exercise. Okay, right? Now, the, we will also be covering about the emotional guidance system. Okay? What are your emotions? How are they impacting your life? And what kind of emotions you should be entertaining? How would you know which is a negative emotion and a positive emotion? Is there any scale? We call it as emotional vibration scale. Okay, there are exercises which we will get done through you in this emotional guidance system because emotion is nothing but your energy in motion. What is the current energy that you are facing? If you are in a high vibrating negative energy, you will see a lot of negative things happening in and around your in a day life, in your day to day life, and in the coming days. But if you are vibrating high on your positive emotions and what are those positive emotions and how do I vibrate there is what we will be discussing in that course. Okay. Your brain and body has to be balanced. Okay. What do you mean by that brain body? We all know that we have a left brain and right brain and there are certain characteristics of a left brain and there are certain characteristics of a right brain person, right mind, uh, brain person. Okay. Both brains are important. Okay, so how do we, when do we see the best results of law of attraction? Only when we are able to balance these two things. For some people, they are, you know, uh, left brain, which works more than when compared to right brain and vice versa. So for us to have the equanimity of thoughts, equanimity of mind, we need to be doing, you know, something called brain body balance exercise. Okay, we take through a wonderful world-class meditation uh, that I'll be sharing with you as a, a process of learning this brain-body balance. Now, thought as an energy is something which we also discuss. See, the moment you release a thought, the vibration gets created with that thought. Now, to give you an example, <clears throat> uh, go back to your childhood days where mommy and papa used to get us some toys not those toys which we get nowadays you know these are all electronic and remote controlled toys but those days we used to have those toys which we you know as a child we used to pull it on the floor and then release it so that you know it used to go to some extent and after that if there was no wall in between it would move further but even if there was no wall you know for the car to go and hit it it will have a certain amount of energy only to a certain extent after that you know, it will stop on its own because there is no more energy for the car to move. What we do, we go to that place again, again give that key kind of a car, you know, we used to give a key to the car and then again put it on the floor and so on and so forth. So in a similar way, when you release a thought, for you to, go, for your thought to go and get into that object, to reach to that so that it attracts that and brings that into a, as a reality into your life, what is the energy of that thought? Thought must have some energy. And how long that energetic thought it is going? Going to so that you attract. So what is the process? What, how do we get into that thought as an energy is something which, you know, we will be discussing there. Thought convictions, one of the very important thing because of which, you know, of the conditioned mind has not allowed us, you know, uh, for, to grow whatever we wanted 
or, or to achieve whatever you want. We'll do a small exercise here, okay? Again, thought convictions. Now, on a scale, and it is very important for you to understand this, what are my thought convictions? How, is, how are they impacting me or have impacted so far? We will talk about thought one, uh, convictions and we will do an exercise. All of you, okay? Listen to the instructions very carefully. All of you, on a scale of zero to 100, on a scale of zero to 100, where zero is the least score and 100, 100 is the highest score. On two parameters, how much score will you give it to yourself? Okay, zero being the least, 100 being the highest. There are two parameters which you have to go give a score is, one is self-love, second one is self-honesty. Okay, these are the two parameters as how much you, now when you give the answers, hold on, don't give it right now. I've not yet completed giving the instructions. When you are typing your scores, type self-honesty, uh, self-love, this much percentage, self-honesty, that has to be the order. Self-honesty, this much percentage. Now, in order to do this exercise, what you need to do is sit in a comfortable position, close your eyes, okay? Put a hand on your heart, don't press it, okay? Just gently put it on your hand and then close your eyes and ask this question to yourself on, these, uh, on a scale of zero to 100, on self-love, how much score I would like to give myself, on self-honesty, how much I would like to give myself. You have 30 seconds. And if you, if you have the scores have popped up uh, in, the, uh, in the same order, self-honesty, this much percent, uh, self-love, this much percent. Please type it in the chat box. You have 30 seconds for that. Looking at the chat scores of others, do not get disturbed. It is their personal scores. You have got nothing to do. You need to focus on your personal scores. That is very important. Right? Right. I got the few responses. Somebody says 20% on self-love and self-honesty, 80%. Okay. And by looking at your scores, I can easily understand what must be happening in your life. Okay. Fine, that's not the object. The object here now, let us understand. Another question for all of you. May look idiotic to you, but this question is very important to be answered. Who gave the score to whom? Who gave, the, whatever scores you have given, who gave those scores to whom? Okay, I to me, self, me to me, right? Got it, got it, thank you. Now, which means there is a person within you, there is a person within you who is giving a score and there is a personality, I should put as a personality, there is a personality within you which is giving a score and there is a personality within you which is receiving the score. What are these two personalities? Who are they? You are only one person as an individual. But there is deep within somebody is giving a score and somebody is receiving the score. Okay, These two personalities are nothing but your conditioned you and the real you. These are the two personalities. Okay. So who gave the score to whom? The real you gave the score to the conditioned you because the real you, you know it, what you are. Okay, It's coming deep within you that I know how much I love myself. I know how much I am self-honest. Okay, And whenever you are in the, in the state of a real you, law of attraction works 100%. Okay, So you need to look at life now, whenever anything is happening in your life, or whenever anybody is speaking to you, you need to speak observe them, self-observation and observation of others, whether that person is operating from his conditioned 
you mind or the real you mind and you will be able to clearly see the uh, you know uh, difference between these two things okay so this will help you to analyze yourself okay whatever i am talking doing and seeing everything is it coming out of my real you or is it coming out of my condition right whenever a car hits you some scratch happens your reaction that's not the real you you saw somebody some feeling some conditioning that if such kind of a thing happens this is how uh, i should be reacting or are, 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 is that the real you so there are so many things which you keep on observing for yourself and understand whether you are operating out of the real you or the conditioned you we will discuss more about that in the session this is just a sample to tell you okay there are many people who go through certain issues in life and we have very powerful clearing methods gratitude which we have already discussed ho open up no is a healing who and healing method okay you and healing method there are four statements if you do that anywhere in this world if you want to heal yourself or any of your friends relatives using this powerful healing methodology you can heal them see all my teachings on law of attraction are experiential this is not a theory i have learned i have <clears throat> practiced i have implemented i have shown results to people only then i have come into public right it takes time for people to understand and if they start following it they will start seeing the results so ho open up on is a healing methodology which will take you through the process and the entire concept of ho open up on where it came out who started this how it happened and all those things <clears throat> the next powerful healing method which we discuss about the importance of forgiveness many a times this is a tough time when uh, when i conduct this session when it comes to the question of forgiveness i have so many people saying that okay, how do you think that you know forgiving is easy gk it's not easy to forgive people you don't know what that fellow did to me you don't know how what happened in my life all these things will pop up right but forgive you must forgiveness is not for them forgiveness is for you okay forgiveness will allow you to attract the life you desire because if you are holding that grudge jealousy anger and everything in your mind what will the thoughts be coming out of that mind only negative thoughts and you will be attracting more it is difficult i totally understand experientially i can watch that forgiving people or things is not easy i am not asking you to forget learn the lesson but forgive you must for your own happy life okay so what are the techniques for doing that is what we will be discussing mental clearance <coughs> right and physical clearance see you are opening up a tap in your kitchen or any of the wash basin area muddy water is coming out of the tap what will you do immediately call a plumber and get the tap repaired is it so no you will go and check the overhead tank and if it is muddy obviously muddy water will come out of the tap no point in calling the plumber and getting the you know pipe changed at home so you need to clear the tank so for us our body the mind is the head tank if we do not clear it that whatever comes into our life will be muddy only so what are the ways to do it how do you uh, get the mental clearance see you can't take a broomstick and clean your mind there are some techniques that you will have to use for clearing uh, the things at the mental level and the importance of a physical clearance see anything you at the human being level anything that we desire mostly are materialistic in nature you mean or desire for a car of a particular model or a price okay or a house or whatever you are going to or, or a beautiful uh, chair or a beautiful sofa set or a nice tv big tv anything and everything that is physical in nature uh, everything is physical in nature is what requires space 
You buy a TV, it requires a space. You buy a new sofa set, it requires space. But if your house is already cluttered and if you have nothing to, no space, okay, how will your manifestation happen? You will see that it has come to till your gate, but it is not coming inside your house. That kind of a thing, you know. So any physical thing uh, that you request or desire for requires a space. So what is the importance of doing it? How do we do it? What are the steps that we need to take? What should be cleared? What should not be cleared? All these things is what we will discuss in the uh, session. In a little bit. Now, powerful manifestation methods, whatever we want to manifest, there are powerful methods uh, where we talk about alpha level of meditation. There are four levels of mind, alpha, beta, theta, and delta. So the manifestation happens fast when you go into alpha level of mind and release your thoughts. Okay, In the beta level, for beginners, it will be difficult, but for practitioners also in the beta level, they can do it, but it requires tremendous amount of practice for that. Why to struggle that much when we can easily get into alpha state? So how do I get into alpha state? We will take you into alpha state of mind and then you can release your thoughts. Okay. And intuitions, what are intuitions? How many types of intuitions are there? You know, what is an intuition first of all? How it has got an impact on my law of attraction is what we will be discussing in deep in the session. Visualization, many people talk about, when they talk about law of attraction, at least the people who have heard about law of attraction, they say that, you know, law of attraction is nothing but thoughts, visualization, and meditation. True to a larger return, but that's not the complete cycle. There is one important element, which if you, uh, uh, which you will learn here is, that is something which is missing, then you will not be able to see the manifestations of what you want in your life. So what is that missing element is what we discussed there. We will take you through an experiential meditation, something called Yoga Nidra, you know. And I don't know if anyone of us heard about, uh, uh, heard about uh, Vipassana, okay. Vipassana is a meditation course which is uh, done for 10 days. Earlier it used to be happening for one month, but they have reduced it to 10 days because of many people not being able to get leaves to join. And one month is a big time to stop everything and, you know, close all the things and go into meditation for one month. So what they have done is they have just, you know, said, uh, we'll bundle it, uh, bundle it and then give it. So the entire Vipassana technique and everything bundled in one single audio, wonderful audio, you will go through a wonderful experience, you know, with that uh, meditation guided audio you know, practice. And of course, the chakra meditation, how many types of chakras are there? What are their functionality? How they are going to impact? What is the power of each chakra? You know, if, if, once you know about this, you will understand how as a human being, how much huge potentiality each one of us. We don't even know whether we have that much of potential. Without knowing, we are living our life. So in this chakra meditation, we'll discuss about the seven chakras, the energy levels, chakra cleanings, and then how to use, when to use, when not to use, how many times to do this meditation. Everything is discussed deeply. And a wonderful audio uh, uh, guided meditation will be shared with all of you. Okay. Money is most important aspect for which many people join my course, you know, to learn about the, uh, uh, the science of money, you know, the in and around facts about money, what are the beliefs about money. We will give you a blueprint of how to, you know, change that and attract more money into life. What are the blockages because of which money is not coming? Many people have, uh, people who do the business, they don't get their bills clear. You know, the money is stuck with the uh, people. How to get that back money? What is that you need to do uh, for that money to, you know, get released? You know, people have debts, people, uh, uh, it comes to that, you know, money is not flowing properly. Even if money is coming into my life, it doesn't stay for a long. What, what is the science behind uh, this money making process? Let's understand it in a deeper way. Okay. So that's what we will be discussing in the session about money part. Now, I want all of you to look at uh, the last line in this slide where it says law of attraction will work 100% for you uh, if you are in your being space. Now, what is the being space? That is very much important for all of us to know, okay. 
Being space is nothing but something that comes to you naturally. So we need to understand is that are we human beings or are we human doings or are we human havings? Okay. So what is the difference in this? Where, which stage uh, have, been we op have we been operating so far? Was it a right thing or a wrong thing? How do I get into my being space? How do I know my being space? Okay, all these things are discussed because you must know what is your being space that comes to you 100% and when you are in that being space, 100% law of attraction works well. So that is how we discuss about the amazing power of being. Okay, that's what it is. So now, with this, uh, my part of sharing is over. So uh, what I do is that I conduct a, a session. Physically, it is not possible nowadays because, you know, uh, because of the pandemic situation, uh, uh, sitting at home, you can learn. So what we do is we take you through this entire session on a WhatsApp. Okay. So what will you get it? Law of Attraction Practitioner course. This is going to be a practitioner course for you. And when we talk about law of attraction, many people definitely may have this question or they come up with this question that, GK, do you believe in karma? If, if everything is written in my karma, if everything is destined, how law of attraction will help or change me that? That is why as a bonus, I can just teach law of attraction and leave it at that with the people. But I want people to understand the science of karma the science of karma. So that comes as a bonus package to you. Law of Attraction is the practitioner course. We will be sharing with you two world-class meditation audios, okay, in this course. A DVD link on beliefs worth 1,000 rupees will come absolutely free with you, with this course for you, okay. And this time, I am I'm giving more uh, to the people uh, that Another DVD link, which the earlier participants of my group did not get it. Another DVD link on Mata, Pita, Guru, Daivam, which is again worth rupees, thousand rupees. See, whenever I go into, uh, I'm a trainer basically, so whenever I meet any corporate client or uh, the vice presidents or the general managers, they say, GK, you take whatever you want, how much money you want, you take us, but just teach us parenting, you know. So... That is the importance. People are struggling, you know, for parenting. So this video will help all those people talk about their relationship on Mata, Pita, Guru, Daivam and about the children part. That comes 100% free, which is worth 1000 rupees. <clears throat> Something which I added in this course now is a digital certificate as a law of attraction practitioner. If you so want it, we are ready to give you a digital certificate. Okay, and you will have to just share your name and everything if you uh, want the certificate the way you want it and we'll send it to you. And also, the complete PDF of the learnings, okay. In the group, whatever I post it, you know, the entire PDF will be sent it to you so that you can refer the course whenever you want to refer in your life. So this is what you will get in the course. Other details are hand-holding for next six months from the date of joining the group, hand holding for next six months, which means I'll be there with you answering all questions even after the session is over, okay? I will be available on WhatsApp. I fixed up a time every day after eight o'clock in the night, before 11, I am open. You just need to inform one or two days in advance or just four or five hours advance notice and I can block the time and we can discuss over phone. And this support I will be giving you even after the course is over for next six months. Where will be the venue? It will be in WhatsApp as I told you. What will I do? Every day one slide will be posted. Like the slide what you are seeing, it will be posted on your WhatsApp group and will be explained in the group. Okay. And any questions you can ask in the group. So start date of this new WhatsApp group. Remember I have done 26 WhatsApp groups. The 26th WhatsApp group uh, has almost completed, uh, is it completed one month? You know, we started on 21st uh, April, I believe, and we are on 15th, so we have all, almost coming close to one month. Okay, so this will be the 27th WhatsApp group that I will be taking through when people join. So, duration of the course will be uh, close to 45 to 50 days. There will be no sessions on Sundays and 
national holidays because those are the days which i want you to spend the time with your family so only monday to saturday the sessions will be there and if saturday or any other day in between the week happens to be a holiday there will be no session okay and what will be the timing you don't have to be online all the time to uh, uh, go through the course the window uh, for all of us to go through the learning is from 7 a.m to 11 p.m any time between 7 a.m to 11 p.m i'll post the slide i'll explain the slide if you are not online, once you come online, you will see that it is ready. If it is not ready by that time, before 11, the slide would come and the explanation would be coming. What will be the mode of language? It will be English. Okay. This is what you will get. And these are the other details. Okay. So let me move to the next slide. So the question to all of you right now is in your mind is what is the fees? How much is the fees for this course? Okay. 45 to 50 days duration. I'm going to get a DVD worth 1000 rupees uh, on Belize. I'm going to get another DVD uh, link uh, uh, on Mata Pita Guru Daivam, Law of Attraction Practitioner course, Science of Karma as a bonus, hand holding for next six months. These are all the things that you are going to get. But at what price are you going to get is a question. So here is the price for all of you rupees 3000 per participant. But yeah, you may feel that's too high, this pandemic situation. I understand. So I thought, okay, let me do, reduce the fees. And I said, okay, let's make it 2000 per participant. But if you feel this, even this is too high, only for action takers today, we are announcing a special price only for action takers today. The special price for this program is 9.99 only this is what will be the course fee and uh, if anybody wants to join the group and want to make the payment well i'll take the questions later the payment methods are this you can do a google pay or a paytm account the same number on the screen or somebody who doesn't use them these are my bank details okay this is what all what i wanted to share now I'll take any questions. If you all have, you can unmute yourself and actually call, uh, one by one can ask the question and I'll be ready to answer them. Over to you all. Thank you so much for joining. I will take up the questions now if you have any questions or clarity that you would. You can unmute yourself. Hello, sir. I am Bala. Can I ask a question? Yeah, yeah. Hurry, don't unmute everybody. Hurry. Anybody who wants to unmute, they will unmute on themselves. Yeah, who is this who is asking question? Unmute yourself and tell your name, sir, and ask the question. Uh, I, I am Bala. Can I ask a question, sir? Please, please, please. Uh, yeah, uh, you are telling that session morning 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. Uh, anytime we can uh, go through the session you are telling. Can you explain that is you are posting some slides like that in WhatsApp or uh, in which platform you are uh, asking us to go through those slides, sir? WhatsApp, sir. WhatsApp. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, so in that no, we can post questions in the WhatsApp itself. Yeah, once you join the course related to that particular slide, for example, uh, okay. let's let's see. Uh, are you able to see my screen now? Yeah, I'm able to see. Your screen. See, yeah. when we talk about money, this is the slide that I will put, and in and around okay. this slide, I'll give you the entire explanation about that. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I understood. Yeah. 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 So, will the explanation be recorded? In the WhatsApp, not recorded, madam. As I told you, what I will be doing is that I will be uh, doing the entire, converting that entire conversation, slides, and everything into a PDF, and will be sending it to you after the course is over. No, I'm not able to get it still. Like we will not have Zoom sessions. Will we have Zoom session? 
no zoom session here now is to only give you a, a, a basic understanding about this course the course will be done on whatsapp and the slide will be put like the slide you can see on the screen now and about this slide the explanation which i am talking now will be actually given in the chat format and after the course is over the entire pdf will be mailed to you so that you can go through it whenever you would like to go is that uh, clear now actually no because i have never attended like this anything so i just wanted a little more clarity uh, you, have, you, you you hold on okay sir can i can i can i please explain on your behalf Yes, sir. Prabhjot, this side. Ma'am, uh, ma'am, ma uh, good evening. This is Prabhjot. Me and GK are friend for last ten years, and I am also he's also my mentor. You see, the benefit is it is learning wherever you want, whatever time you want. So the slides are usually pasted during morning hours, mostly during morning hours, and okay. thereafter the explanation is also posted. So the first thing is a core group is created of all the paid participants. and then a additional group is created which is called discussion group okay. and in discussion group i have seen many people uh, post their videos their audios and th thereafter uh, usually uh, by evening time uh, gk sir give gives a solution or he comments on the individual uh, observations yes, the best best thing is even if he's oh, can others be on mute please small request others be on mute please so the so the best thing is all participants can access to all the discussions all participants can access to all the comments by gk sir as per their convenient time uh, thank you uh, gk sir over to you please thank you thank you welcome ma'am Ma'am, I hope I hope uh, this uh, answers your query. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is clear now. Ma'am, the benefit is you see wherever you are, even if you are traveling in a metro or maybe uh, um, wherever you are, you can you can go through it. You can. The best thing is the DVDs links are something you can uh, uh, listen whenever you want because the content is in Google Drive. So. Okay. Thank you very much. Welcome, ma'am. Thank ma you. Yeah, somebody is asking a question. The course also covers guided meditation and how that will be taken care. Madam, the audio med meditation will be posted in the group. You can directly click it and you start listening on your phone. As far as the DVD link, which I am talking about, Mata Pita Guru Daivam, as well as uh, the Bilis video, that will be shared in the WhatsApp group in the form of a link. What you need to do is you need to just click the link and the video opens in your uh, mobile. and you can start listening that's what prabhjot you were selling wherever you know if you are traveling from one place to another place just click on that link and you start listening to the videos it becomes so easy for people to you know follow the course uh, uh, as and when they want to do it you see the content the, the google drive the google drive video uh, dvd can be uh, transferred or can be copied to your google drive itself yes so those rights are there so you can view it not only during that time whenever you want lifelong it will be in your drive okay sir thank you thank you welcome ma'am yeah uh, one more uh, participant question is every day class time from to what time sir the class time there is no particular time between 7 am to 11 pm any time even if you are online whenever you come online on whatsapp you can see the slide go through the explanation and ask any of your question i cannot keep a particular time saying that ki by 10 o'clock all of you should come into the group because different people have their different work schedule at different times if somebody is traveling at 10 o'clock uh, in the morning to office at that time if i ask him to come stop all the work and uh, be uh, attentive to my session that's not uh, the right way so what we have Uh, saying is that you have the bandwidth of time you have that window 7 o'clock to 11 o'clock 7 a.m in the morning to 11 o'clock in the night any time before that there will be no post from me or from the group after 11 o'clock there will be no post by anybody either from me from the group so this is the window that will help you to go through the course i hope that helps uh, nagaraj garu sachin sir has a question i have a question regarding elo please sir what sir. kind of a certificate That so what you, kind of a certificate will we get? Yeah, you will get a certificate saying that you have completed Law of Attraction practitioner course, 
along with your name and signed by the coach which is me okay uh there is a yes yes I, please i have a question regarding law of attraction so i was watching a clip a few days before half uh, sadguru and somebody asked him that uh, do you believe literally in the law of attraction so he replied that uh, for a lot of attraction is between the opposite force like somebody has it. so if you really want to apply the law of attraction uh, what are you either you are negative or the thing which you are wanting is going to be negative so i was confused in that way that actually a person like sadguru uh, he was uh, uh, in his literal words opposing the law of attraction so so i was you know confused at that time and uh, i was literally uh, wanting the actual answer of it so what do you want to suggest on part of that so can you put uh, your question in one single because you have given some explanation you are referring to guru but what exactly is your question my question is that to apply law of attraction one has to be positive and one has to be negative either the desires would be the negative or me i should be the negative so got it got uh, it got it got it you are basically talking about the property of a magnet which applies and that's what uh, is discussed no sir that's not the way okay uh, like attracts like is what we discussed in the third law okay the property of a magnet is different and the law which we are talking about is different so please go back through uh, go back again to sadguru videos and you will see in some of the videos apart from this video he has very clearly talked about how law of attraction works sir, or not and how it works so okay. don't worry on that it's not a magnetic theory which we are going to talk about it and that explanation will be given in the uh, group about magnet and its properties and what we are talking about so it has no it's not that you have to be negative uh, you have to be positive and something else has to be negative so that you can attract that is the property of a magnet magnet works like that okay like poles attract unlike poles repel that's what you are referring to but that's not the way it works no it's not that way it works i'm sorry to tell you sadguru uh, probably in what instance and what question he has answered that no but that's not the way it works okay, okay. yeah sorry. and sir about that forgiveness you have said that uh, we should acquire that property of forgiveness so i wanted uh, to ask you that whatever the person uh, uh, doing is like if i give you an example of if uh, i am having a court case for something like so should i forgive the person of whom has done that crime obviously that's what we are talking about see as i told you forgiving is for you not for them for your peace for your happiness so that you bring in more atmosphere of attracting things into your life you are allowing yourself things to get into your life so what is that why and how is what we discuss so if anybody would like to join the whatsapp group i am sorry if you can minimize the screen i would like to share in the chat box the uh whatsapp group link okay and if anybody would like to join they can join the group and after joining the group also they can make the payment or before joining also they can make the payment and share the screenshot with me here sir i have paid 999 sir how did you pay through gpay or pay? just share the screenshot i'm sharing my mobile number here once again for all people Nine one triple zero three double two eight nine. Hey, just hold on. I'll 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 do that. Need color? Leave it. Sharing the WhatsApp group uh, link. Those who you want to join, you can join. Navin Karla is suggesting that uh, I suggest half an hour lecture over Zoom. Covered every week, another half hour at least to cover questions answer, sir. The process is that after fifteen days or ten days of starting the course, every Sunday we conduct a Zoom call where I take all the questions related to last week's learning, and those are also recorded, right? So yes, Zoom call 
while the session is going on after 10 days of starting the session because it will be too early to talk about uh, uh, adling uh, on zoom so uh, every 10 12 days every sunday uh, after that i'll announce in the group that we are coming like for example for the 26th batch day after tomorrow sunday we are having a zoom call okay and we spend good amount of time you know almost 2 hours all the participants they get all their questions clarified and everything that happens so don't worry thank you for the session it is already an action that is will be implemented now so normally a batch consists of how many people i will not start the batch until unless we have 50 paid members so what do i mean by that for example 21st is the date of may that i said i'll start the batch but if i do not have 50 paid members maybe it will be extended till 25th of may or whatsoever it is okay but before 25th i have the 50 paid members then the session will start hope that clears gk sir may i request please share your last screen that is your google pay and bank account details again hurry if you, no, no, i just waiting for the whatsapp chat to be uh, pressure sir hmm. give me few minutes and i will ha, share ha, the wo last screen dikha do sir bas aap yeah, yeah. thank you sir whatsapp is taking time uh, for me to share the and we i will be conducting uh, this zoom call every day at 8 o'clock uh, till 20th so you know uh, any any of your friends who would like to be a part please share it with them so that they can attend the meeting tomorrow everybody can see on the screen 26 loa discussion group okay so this is how it uh, will be so alu sir or somebody who has paid uh, sir please click this link to join uh, the whatsapp group any more questions anyone has or uh, so madam who were asking uh, just look at the screen madam right now prabhu ji are you able to see the screen uh, hello screen is not visible sir no uh, money blueprint screen that is the screen it is appearing now yeah, yeah, okay, screen, okay. Screen, hari, screen is not not visible sir uh, hari just uh, share the screen no? so that i can show them uh, how it happens on the whatsapp Sir, the good thing is your WhatsApp link is cl clickable. I have also joined. Oh, very great, sir. Thank you. Uh, WhatsApp link is clear. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's leave it. Uh, uh, I have actually... Sir, just press the end button. <laughs> just press the end button on your laptop and the last slide will appear. I think some... Are you can see? Uh, so that's it. Any more questions from anyone? Meanwhile, the screen we are going to share. Any more questions from anyone about the course or any other questions related to today's topic? You can ask. And uh, if I have no more questions, then we can close the session. Yeah. See, uh, now the screen is visible, sir, Prabhjit ji. Uh, no, uh, one second, please. Yes, yes, WhatsApp is visible now. Yeah, so people who are there still in the call, you can see this is how uh, uh, it will be done. You will see the slide, and then yes, you will yes. see that is the slide for today. So I will give the explanation like this, okay? And then you can see there is a discussion group here also where people ask, you know, uh, the questions. And then yeah, there are there are few participants who are posting their videos and audios as well. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is how it happens, uh, madam. Whoever asked that question, you see, you please be assured there is fairly good amount of interaction, and besides, we also form lifelong friends. So I have also found few very good friends who are also doing EFT, emotional freedom technique. So this is the beauty of discussion group, and uh, such discussions we usually take offline. Yeah. 
so those those is, both bante hain <laughs> so these are the payment details for those who sorry please share the screen yeah these are the payment details on the screen any more questions from anyone sir there, there is a question by participant paytm is not allowed outside india yes paytm is not allowed outside india however uh, google pay is allowed and direct bank transfer is allowed sir please enlarge the screen and if it can't be enlarged dear participant you can just enlarge it in your mobile phone Thank please you, enlarge yeah. it yeah, yeah yeah please enlarge in your mobile phone <clears throat> and you can take the screenshot oh back back yeah done sir just let it hold there be exercise given every day yeah depending upon the slide if there is an exercise we will uh, give and you can follow and submit so here is a chat group any more questions we have 15 participants still there any more questions so that if you don't have any questions i would like to wind up the session i will give five more minutes and after that we are done with the session ठीक है ना प्रभु जी इज दैट फाइन फॉर पीपल टू आस्क नवीन जी नवीन जी यू हैव रेज्ड योर हैंड प्लीज आस्क योर क्वेरी आई थिंक यस पुट इट प्रभु जी आई हैव टू रिक्वेस्ट समबडी टू पे पेटीएम इज नॉट अलाउड फ्रॉम आउटसाइड इंडिया एनी सजेशन फॉर इजी ट्रांसफर या बैंक ट्रांसफर डायरेक्ट ट्रांसफर टू योर बैंक अकाउंट या या द डिटेल्स आर देयर ही कैन सी टेक अ स्लाइड एंड do the transfer you see uh, still if if the person cannot uh, cannot pay not an issue we'll create a separate pay you link or maybe insta mojo link uh, we can always create a link they don't worry not about paying the money don't worry about uh, paying the money you can join the group take your uh, karnin and time and then pay it accordingly that's not an issue yeah, the important thing is that uh, the important thing is that are you ready to learn and ready to learn yeah that is what is more important and 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 the exercises and the activities are quite intensive by intensive i mean to say the anyone including me i have to really give a focused at least 10 to 15 minutes to ponder on the slide ponder on the learnings and then respond accordingly however the learnings are profound they are deep learning <coughs> Okay, I don't think anyone has any more questions. Uh, uh, let yeah. Let's wish everyone all the best, sir. I think. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much, everyone. Please share God the Zoom. God bless all of you. Hmm. Please share the Zoom meeting ID. <coughs> Every day eight o'clock it will be there, and tomorrow again we'll be there eight o'clock. You can share it with your friend. People who are joined late, you can join tomorrow again, so that from the beginning you don't miss out. Out. Prabhjot ji, thank you. Hari, thank you. Thank you all the all participants. The, all the all the all the best, sir. One second, Vanda, madam, are you from Chennai? No, okay, she's not. Yeah, thank you, sir. Yeah. Okay, all the best, sir. Best wishes. Thank you. Yeah. Hari, you can uh, end the meeting, or I'll end the meeting at my end.